We've compiled a list of the 10 best non-toxic cookware and bakeware Christmas gifts for that healthy cook on your list. Or maybe that person is you. And make sure that you stay until the end because the last gift idea applies to everything on this list. The first item on our list is a cast iron skillet and getting one of these drastically changed the way that we cooked in our kitchen. We highly recommend getting the Lodge brand if this is your first cast iron skillet as they aren't too expensive and they do come pre-seasoned. I was very intimidated to cook with cast iron because of all of the rules. There are so many tutorials out there online that you can find on how to do the upkeep of your cast iron and it is so easy. We use our cast iron pans every single day. After using them and seasoning them correctly the right way, they do truly become nonstick and you can fry an egg on them, no problem, no sticking whatsoever. As long as you're using healthy fats when you're cooking, it's a great replacement for that toxic Teflon surface that comes on your nonstick pans. And also it releases a little bit of iron when you're cooking on it. So you are naturally getting a little bit of extra iron into your diet too. So think about adding a cast iron skillet to your Christmas list this year. And if you already have a cast iron skillet, Maybe you need another one. Yep. <laughs> the next item on our list is some stainless steel cookware. We've been married almost 10 years and we probably are on our fifth set of pots and pans, but <laughs> I think this is going to be the last set that we buy for a long time. I was super intimidated by stainless steel cookware, obviously, almost 10 years intimidated. It seemed like the hardest to cook with and also the toughest to clean. But all you have to do if you're intimidated like I was is research the mercury method. Basically, all you have to do with stainless steel is make sure that your pans are hot enough and this mercury method simplifies the process for you. Also using natural animal fats so you get that slick surface helps too. And we usually use our cast iron or enamel Dutch oven for any really sticky foods, but the stainless steel is wonderful for boiling pasta, making sauces, and sauteing your veggies. Now we highly recommend trying the Cuisinart brand that we have linked down in the description of this video. It's the same set that we have and we have been so happy with it. Yeah. It's a multi-clad set and it does have some decent weight to it. The weight is going to help you evenly cook your food, but it's not so heavy that you're going to break your wrist when you're in there cooking. Mm -hmm. It's also oven safe up to 550 degrees, so if you're getting fancy and want to finish off a piece of meat in the oven, you can do that very easily. And it's dishwasher safe. That's nice. Speaking of Dutch ovens, next up on our list is our Lodge Enamel Dutch Oven. This oh, is my favorite cookware item in our entire kitchen. She's not joking, and I will point out, I did buy it for her for a gift, and you can see that she loves it. He did. Oh, I use it every single day. It is nonstick because of the enamel coating on the cast iron, so anything sticky, burnt on pieces, they come right off. You can use soap and water. It cleans really fast. I use it to cook meat, saute vegetables, make soup, bake sourdough bread. You can do almost anything in this guy. She uses it so much that we don't even have a spot to put it away because it just rests right on top of the stove as soon as we're done cleaning the kitchen. And it always looks pretty sitting up there too, I think. It does look nice. <laughs> Speaking of that, it does come in a wider range of colors. We really like the sandalwood one just because it's a neutral color, but it also comes in a lot of bright and vivid colors. So it should match about anything that you have in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. Next on our list is a Lodge Brazer, and it's essentially just a mini Dutch oven. The Dutch oven that we have recommended is six quarts, where the Brazer is about 3.6 quarts. It's a lot better for casseroles, anything that you don't need the high sides with, or something specifically that you need the lid to help cook whatever you're making. If you don't have a Dutch oven or a brazier, start with a Dutch oven since these items are so similar. But if you already have a Dutch oven, think about adding a brazier to your kitchen. So he knows what's on my Christmas list this year. Apparently. <laughs> Now don't discount the simplicity of this next item, but think about adding some wooden spoons, metal, or silicone spatulas to your shopping list. Our utensil drawer used to be full of plastic utensils, and I am absolutely disgusted when I think back mm -hmm. about all of those plastic materials and how all of them had melt marks on them. It seems like such a dumb idea 
to yeah. take something that melts so easily and to use that over high heat. I am a huge fan of my slotted spatula. Sometimes it's referred to as a fish spatula. It is so thin. It is wonderful for picking items up and having any excess grease drip off of them. And even better, it is the perfect thinness and it's slightly pliable so it can get under eggs. You can flip them without breaking the yolks, pancakes, fish, anything that you do need to have something thinner to get under there and quickly flip it over, it's wonderful for that. I love all my wooden spoons. Don't be like me. Don't put them in the dishwasher. No matter how many times I've told her, yeah. she still doesn't listen. I do now with my new ones. They are not put in the dishwasher. Hand wash your wooden spoons. Do not put them in the dishwasher, please. The next item on our list is a graniteware stock pot. Seeing this in someone's kitchen just screams home cook. They're so pretty to look at and they have so many uses. The graniteware is a slick, non-stick surface and with none of the Teflon icky chemicals in it. Now we don't use this near as often as we do the, our stainless steel, Dutch oven, or cast iron cookware, but when we need it, we are so happy that yes. we have it. With it being 15 and a half quarts, it doubles as a very large stock pot and it's great if you're making a large batch of soup or stew this winter. And it can also be used if you're rendering down tomatoes and apples for any kind of canning. Speaking of canning, it also can double as a water bath canner. The next item on our list are some stainless steel baking sheets. And if you wanna know the truth about what happens to toxic non-stick Teflon, just take one look at one of your old cookie sheets. Not only does that slick non-stick surface not last very long, but they are disgusting when they get coated with grime and grease. And if you look closely, you'll be able to see the bare metal underneath where all that Teflon has flaked off and hopefully hasn't ended up in the cookies you've been baking. Stainless steel baking sheets will tarnish after time, but they are still completely safe and healthy for you to use. A little bit of parchment paper goes a long way in keeping them looking new also. We link some baking sheets down below, so check them out if you're interested. If you are looking for a reusable option for your stainless steel baking sheets, then check out silicone baking mats. They are reusable and silicone, so your food is not gonna stick to your baking sheet, and they really protect your pans and keep them nicer for much longer. Now, I prefer using these because I seem to struggle greatly with tearing parchment paper for some reason. So <laughs> these are easy for me to just pull out of the drawer, and the ones we have linked come in a variety of sizes. So they fit every baking sheet that we have in our kitchen, and then I don't get in trouble for gumming up the new pans. <laughs> the next item on our list is glass bakeware. I almost feel the same way about my glass bakeware as I do my enamel Dutch oven. The holiday bakeware is really nice for Christmas or Thanksgiving or Easter, but that's a lot of different items to store that you only use one time during the year. So having the glass bakeware, it always looks pretty, it always looks nice, and you can have it go with any holiday you're celebrating or even a Wednesday night casserole. So if you'd like to buy a casserole dish for that baker in your life, maybe just go with some glass cookware because you're not gonna have to have the anxiety that maybe they're not gonna like the color or the fancy pattern that you chose for them. Mm -hmm. Now we told you that this item was going to apply to everything on the list. And while it's not technically cookware or bakeware, it is essential if you start cooking with cast iron, stainless steel, or using a Dutch oven. And it's a nice set of pot holders. Those handles get hot. The cast iron, the Dutch oven, the lid of the Dutch oven when checking your sourdough bread, you definitely wanna make sure you have a good set of pop holders on hand. And if you have a disaster on hand and seem to be cooking something that's at 600 degrees, your pot holders <laughs> might look something like this. And unfortunately, this doesn't look very pretty in the kitchen anymore. So I'm sure Alex would appreciate getting an updated set. <laughs> We've linked some nice, pretty looking sets down below that will do good work for you if you're cooking with cast iron. If you love these gift ideas, you're going to want to watch this video next as it will take your healthy cooking skills to the next level. Have a Merry Christmas and remember to live free and find your purpose.